All right, I'm going for a little bit of a stroll here on my break at work. Now judging by what I see as I stroll this desolate stretch of highway near the workplace, there are just dozens upon dozens upon dozens and dozens and dozens of cigarette butts littering, littering the side of the road here by work. There's the workplace in my hand. Once again, I'm holding my chunky soup can and I'm also holding some soup, Durs soup. I do want to make a, a note for the camera that I do not plan on eating this soup. To do so would be a breach of contract. Now I did find a cigarette pack on my walk, which was kind of what I was hoping to. That means I can write a letter. And I have a lot of ideas for a lot of letters. Now over there to the west, the sun is setting. I'm guessing in about two minutes. In two minutes, the sun is officially going to be set on Wisconsin. And then I can reach into my left pocket here, grab out a granola bar, and proceed to eat it. Now, I don't know if I'll get any view of the sunset, because it looks like there's sure are just a crap ton of trees in the way. I don't think I'll be able to see the sun dipping below the horizon or not. And I guess I'll just have to go on faith that the sunset has come. 7.37 today, and seeing as my watch is still broken, I have, real, I have really no idea what time it is. I know it's after 7.30, so if I blabber on for a minute or two, chances are good. The sunset will come, and then I can continue with what I want to do, which is basically eat a granola bar. Now, there are no coincidences. There are only miracles. I've said this enough times to uh, probably pay someone for a copyright infringement. I'm sure someone said that long before I have, because it's a good idea, because it's true. Um, yeah, I don't see the sun anymore. I think the sun is set. Now, yesterday, I came to work, worked a double shift, and after midnight at about 3 a.m. in the morning, I ate this can of chunky chicken and dumpling soup. My coworker, who I've called Human Google, also recently has partaken of a single can of creamy, chunky uh, chicken and dumpling soup. Probably not with a cigarette uh, package inside of it. Today, for supper, uh, the people on, in Sherman Hall had chicken dumpling soup. Today is uh, Sunday, August 28th, and I know this is probably classified information that should not be shared with the, the general public, but it is true. They do serve chicken dumpling soup here at Winnebago Mental Health, and I, hopefully that is not a breach of confidentiality. I really doubt. I really doubt that it is. I really doubt that it is, but like I said, here is a cup of that chicken that chicken soup. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at it. Let's see what see what it looks like. It looks like a lot of broth. I don't see any carrots floating around there. I don't see any dumplings. So what I have basically is a big cup full of broth that I saved from the garbage can. Now soup can of course has a meaning for me and that's my ex friend soup can. The word soup has a whole different meaning today when I talk about it at the workplace. When we talk about the soup, we talk about the supervisor. And today, one of my favorite co-workers of all time is the supervisor. And there's a lot of rumors, there's a lot of whispering, there's a lot of gossip that goes around our workplace, to be certain, to be certain. And uh, one of those rumors was that, our, that one of my favorite soups supervisors is moving on is leaving Winnebago mental health behind her and uh, I had to I guess ask the source and the source confirmed that indeed she is moving on and I had a reason why in my head as I guessed to why she was moving on and when she answered when I asked the question why are you moving on she confirmed she confirmed 
the suspicion that I had of why she was moving on. And that, that really sucks. But anyway, I did talk to her about this soup and about my can of soup and uh, about the human Google's can of soup. And when I was telling her that story, Bruce Springsteen came on on the radio. And that might not seem like a big deal to most people of the world, but uh, the soup that I'm talking about, who I refer to as Little Red Riding Hood in my writings and teachings, she and I are about the biggest Bruce Springsteen fans in the world. And I know she sure did a lot over the years to try to make Winnebago mental health a better place. And uh, I'm hoping that maybe with this little cup of soup that was going to be thrown away, maybe I can make Winnebago a little bit better too. I know there's been a lot of stories about, let's say, a guy who's in the union or whatever and worked at a factory. And like three days before his retirement, he took a piece of scrap metal out of the, uh, out of like the garbage and took it home to like, I don't know, do a, do a project with and someone ratted him out and said, you know, this guy took a piece of metal. So they fired him, took away his pension, that sort of thing. Now I'm hoping that in, in, in the world of common sense, that me holding this cup of soup, which was destined for the garbage can anyway, is not going to get me fired. I sure hope not. But uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Can I make the world a better place with a cup of soup? I'm sure heck going to give it a try. But I'm going to first have a, a granola bar so I don't pass out from hunger because the mosquitoes are eating me alive out here.